Hi everyone. Now we're going to start a new course on data structures in Python. So basically we will implement a lot of data structures like stacks, queues, linked lists, binary trees, and a lot of other data structures also. And we are going to implement all of these data structures in Python. So all the videos on data structures will be like, first I will explain what are the applications of that particular data structure. And then finally, we are going to implement in Python programming language. So in this tutorial, we are just going to make a good knowledge of exactly what is a data structure and why do we require data structure. And from the next tutorial onwards, we will start with our first data structure, which is the stack data structure. And we will implement it in Python. So let's start with the data structures. What exactly are the data structures and why do we need them? So basically we know, we all know that all the programming languages, including C++, Java, Python, they all work with one common thing, which is the data. So the data can be in the form of some constants, variables like this, or stored in some files. So what happened is the most of the programming languages, they perform operations on this data. So I'm going to write perform operations on this data. So what are the operations you think can be performed on the data? So the first and the very important is the insertion. So we can actually insert some data right the second one is the deletion of data deletion of data and updation of data and similarly there can be more such operations like searching so one important thing about data is that a data can be in a raw raw format right it can be a raw data so in order to process raw data, it, it is very difficult to process raw data, right? So what we do is we actually make some structures and these structures help us in performing these operations in a most effective way. So if we talk about data, what we do is, for example, in a binary tree, we uh, let's suppose I have data Let's suppose I have some numbers in here. Now you can see these numbers are just data. Now, if I will put these numbers, let's suppose in an array, something like this, right? So I can push or insert some elements in this data structure. I can even uh, try to update some values in this data structure. Now there are so many data structures available and the reason why there are so many different data structures is that when you change the structure of the data, so the cost of operation, the cost of operation and, we, uh, and when we are talking about cost, we are actually talking about time because processing time plays a very important role in, uh, in computers and in programming languages. We always try to write algorithms and we also use some data structures and these data structures should take least time possible so that we can actually perform these operations without giving some overhead to the processor so whenever we we have so many data structures like stacks linked list we will study about all of them in detail and we will also implement them and similarly, we have binary trees, hash tables, etc. Now, the reason why we have all of them is because in some data structures, the insertion operation takes less time complexity. In some cases, updation takes less time complexity. Similarly, we have some search operation also. So searching. So in some cases, in some data structures, we have uh, searching and the cost or the time taken by the data structure to do the searching of some particular element will be much easier and will take less time. So we will discuss such type of data structures and basically data structures 
are the structures which are used structures that are used to structure data or organize data organize data in a form of a structure and why are we organizing data because to decrease the cost or to decrease the time taken the processing time right so that's our main objective so uh, the right choice of a data structure for different operations for example let's say uh, there is a company let's say google and we know we all know that google has a search bar right so most of the operations that are performed is the searching operation so in that scenario you know there are millions of records or a very big amount of data that google has so in order to perform searching we need or we require some data structure that will decrease the time complexity we call this cost as time complexity right so we uh, so the search operation should take less time complexity and and this is the main reason why we have data we don't have any data structure which can perform all of these operations in big o of one time right so there are a lot of data structures which will op which are optimized for searching some are optimized for insertions etc etc so from the next tutorial onwards we will start with the stack data structure first we will discuss what is a stack we will see how it organizes it organizes data and then in python programming we are going to implement it so first thing is if you haven't studied python i have the python course as well i will give the link to the python playlist in the description below or it will come in an i button here now the second thing is if you are a c++ developer if you are using c++ we also have a data structures playlist and it is completed for c++ developers so you can also check it out there now the next thing and the last thing is uh, i will keep posting more and more data structures in the upcoming days and what i want you to do is is to subscribe my channel so that whenever i launch a new video on the data structure you will get notified for that so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching